Candy Reed, and I'm the Easton E3 Learning Lab teacher for New Albany Plain Local Schools, located in Central Ohio. I teach all students, K-12, about the three E's, energy, engineering, and the environment. However, for my National Geographic Inquiry Capstone Project, I'm working with sixth graders, and they chose to focus on the environment, which is why I'm here. This is what our project is all about. So why don't we head back to school and I'll show you what we're up to. When I came back to school this fall, I discovered that the city was building a park right next to our school campus. Being involved in the designing of this park would be a chance for my students to become geographers. Using a geographic perspective, they would need to answer the questions, where is it, why is it there, and why care, before they could understand the spatial, cultural, political, economic, social, and physical geography involved in helping to create this park. My job as their teacher would be to take them through the five-step geo-inquiry process so they could develop the skills, knowledge, and tools they would need to be successful. I was super excited about the possibilities, and I picked up the phone and called City Hall. Adrienne Jolly is our city's deputy director of community development. She answered her call and came out to our school on three different occasions to explain in detail the plans for the new Rose Run Park. She also invited our students to the official park groundbreaking ceremony. They were super excited to be there. When the ceremony was over, the students all felt a stronger sense of curiosity about the park and an even greater sense of empowerment. They were determined to help design something for the park. They wanted to help make a difference. I'll let my students tell the story. We realized that we needed to familiarize ourselves with the actual park site. So what did we do? Bioblitz! And Bioblitz we did. We focused on the Rose Run Park site. But other students from all over our school district participated in the Bioblitz and other places throughout our school nature preserve. And they identified over 700 species from around our school campus. Now it was time for us to get to work to develop a solid geo-inquiry question. We came up with a lot of different ideas, including adding color to our town park with a pollinator garden. Some of us wanted to add water fountains for our dogs. Other students wanted to create educational signage for the walking trails. After weeks of rewriting and debate, we all finally agreed on our question. How can we design safe play equipment for the new Rose Run Park that allows people of all ages to have a fun experience in nature? We were excited about our question, so we researched some more online and read an article on nature place play areas. We recorded what we learned on Padlet so we could share the information with each other. We decided that we needed to take a field trip to different parks that have nature-based play areas. Intermediate school. Our classmates are taking a field trip on Monday, November 19th at 8.45 a.m. to your park's natural play area. We designed our own data collection forms based on our Nat Geo question that would allow us to rate each play element according to its safety, age appropriateness, and how much nature was in the design. And, of course, how fun it was to play on. We organized visits to three different parks that had very different nature-based play areas. One had lots of play elements. One was more like a garden for kids. The other was a woods that had been left alone and you could explore or do anything else you wanted there. After playing on each element, we stopped to record our data. We had arranged for an interview with one of the park directors. Here, there was a committee that was put together of a lot of interested people. So after listening to Mrs. Steelman talk to us, we realized that we needed to get input from people in the community. So, we created a Google survey asking everyone what type of play elements they would like to have in our new park. Then, the school district emailed it out to every family in our school district. We combined our own data with the data from the community survey to identify the top 10 nature-based play elements preferred by everybody involved. Here they are in order of what was wanted the most. The percentages show how many of the people in the survey wanted that play element. We knew we needed to visualize our play element designs, so we created our own designs on Tinkercad and 3D printed them. 
Deciding where they should be placed in the park required an understanding of geography. We studied the bid maps the city shared with us and we printed out topo maps of the area using natgeomaps.com. We felt we needed a 3D topo map of the area for our 3D elements. The fab lab made one out of wood. We then wondered, how could we use the terrain to add excitement and fun to our elements? How would the terrain affect safety? We selected exact spots for the play element based on those questions and with consideration for the city's existing plans for the area. It was time for us to create our story so we could share it with the city. We decided to do a formal presentation using Google Slides. We divided it into small groups. Then, we took another look at our geo-inquiry question and all the data we collected. We wanted the city to take action and adopt as many of our play equipment designs as they could. We knew that our presentation would have to be persuasive. We created our slides and started to practice speaking our parts on stage. Behind me is the construction site for the Rose Run Park. It is scheduled to be finished in the fall of 2019. The students will be contacting the city and asking them to take action on their nature-based play design elements next month when they present to the city. They're going to also extend an invitation to the city's Park and Trail Board members to attend the presentation. The school district will be emailing the entire community and inviting them to attend so they can see the community survey results and also check out the designs. These students have worked really hard the past six months. I'm super proud of them. They are excited and hopeful and determined to make a difference in this community to benefit the child and all of us. I know they will. What does this project mean to you? Uh, you go first. Um, this project to me is about helping the community and bringing back nature to the area. And it's really going to be a place where I'm going to like to hang out. And I know we're, I'm going to go there a lot. And so are me and the friends. It meant for, to me to just start unleashing my creativity and helping other people do that as well so we could make a cool environment for other kids to enjoy. Matt, 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 Matt. Matt.